Good evening, Barnstable. I'm Brenna McCubrey here to bring you the latest on New England and Barnstable sports. This past Saturday, the Boston Bruins had their afternoon matinee in Philadelphia versus the Flyers. It was worth the road trip as the Bees took the 6-1 victory. They will play again tonight in Uniondale, New York to take on the Islanders at 7 p.m. Last night, the Boston Celtics met up with former players Kevin Garnett and Paul Pierce, who are both now with the Brooklyn Nets. The Celtics fell to the Nets 85-79. Up next for the Celtics is a matchup with the New York Knicks tomorrow night at 7.30. Super Bowl 48 is coming up this weekend. The game between the Denver Broncos and Seattle Seahawks will be played at 6.30 Sunday, February 2nd in New Jersey. Taking a look at Barnstable High School sports, there are a few games tonight. The girls' basketball teams will host New Bedford Public School. The JV team is on the court now as their game started at 5, and varsity will begin at 6.30. Away at their OCL championship meet is the boys' and girls' winter track teams. The meet is at the Reggie Lewis Center in Roxbury. That is all for now in New England and Red Raiders sports. Here on Barnstable Today, I'm Brenna McCubrey. running back of the varsity football team, Hayden Murphy. So how do you think the team has gone so far this year? Uh, well, we started off um, a little slow. We uh, lost to DY, but then um, we came back and we'll, uh, we won six straight games. So we're 6-1 and one now. We're heading into the playoffs. How do you think football has changed you as a person? Um, it really, it's taught me leadership qualities. It's taught me to be uh, accountable, like be, come to practice on time. There's like very strict rules. You can't miss practice and stuff like that. But it's, it's <laughs> so now you're graduating this year, so that makes you part of the th first class to be part of three consecutive OCL championships. How do you think your class has these kind of strengths? Uh, I think it's our camaraderie. We work really well as a team, and we're all very close, so I think that has a lot to do with it. How do you think this sport will influence your future? Uh, well, I want to play football in college, so hopefully that can take me to a good college. Now, last week, Friday, was your last home game of the season. Um, how does it feel to be a senior now and having that last home game? It's crazy to think that that was my last game played um, in the regular season. We were fortunate enough to um, do well this season, so we have a couple home games for the playoffs. But at the same time, it's crazy that I'm a senior now and that I won't be playing many more games on this field anymore. When did you start playing football? Uh, when I was seven. You've been playing ever since? Yes, ma'am. So what does the position of a running back entail for being part of this team? Well, um, as a running back, the quarterback will hand you the ball off, and then you run the ball, <laughs> obviously. And then um, when the quarterback's passing the ball, you're obligated to either run a route or block for him. Have you been playing running back your whole life? Um, mostly. Uh, when I was a kid, I used to play quarterback. But um, in eighth grade, uh, they switched me to running back. and. And town council meets tonight. Brent, I know you will have a sports report for us. And yes, we thank, I will. We thank you so much for joining us. It's fun. Uh, I, usually Sarah Mantle gets to have the pleasure of co-hosting with you. Yeah, so thanks for having me. It's awesome. I love getting this experience, and it's great to be here. Great. Well, we love, we love having you here. The, month. the winter months are typically slow for employment opportunities on Cape Cod, and the numbers are reflecting that slowdown. Slightly more people were unemployed in November 2013 as compared to the previous year. Cape and Island's Workforce Investment Board Director, David Agostino, says overall things are a bit slower this year. Um, although I do know that the so, December, um, March, or even April. Agostino says he will have a better gauge on the complete unemployment picture in a few months. Today we're getting ready for the end of the week. Going it's right through the week. Zipping right <laughs> by. And to some community calendar events, of course, uh, every Thursday night is Cape Cod Tango. Ooh. And this is really cool. Um, the, I think the guy who started this, he used to be a travel writer and he traveled around the world. And he learned that the best way to meet people was to find these Argentine tango clubs. Oh, and cool. you don't need to bring a partner. They actually encourage you to like dance with Perfect. everyone. Perfect, yeah, that exactly. sounds awesome. So they're doing that at Liberty Hall in Marston's Mills at 7 o'clock. And it's free. So if you cool. want to meet some Great new people. Great workout. Fun to meet some new people. That's right. And learn how to tango. Sounds, Why not? Sounds cool to me.